are with our roster now and with the class coming in, it was, you know, putting guys into positions that we know in like two years, we're going to have some older guys graduating because uh, we got a lot of guys that are coming back with experience um, that are going to be juniors this year. And so um, kind of getting that next wave of guys are going to be ready to go. And we've got some really talented guys in the class we're really excited about getting Carson Jablonski was was uh, was really really exciting. I would say a kid from here in town, um, you know, player of the year, uh, one of the best receivers in the state, and so uh, getting him was was really big, uh, especially as a local guy and one of his teammates, Owen. Um, he's a road grader. He's kind of a mean guy. He's got a little edge to him. So excited to get Owen here too, and and then Peyton McGregor out of out of Fargo. Um, it's kind of hard to get guys out of Fargo, and and he's a West Fargo guy, but really really. Just overall, as a football player, he could play a lot of different spots, but he's going to be a, a dynamic, shifty guy that we can add into our receiving core that we're we're excited about, um, you know. And then the two legacy guys, Vegas is uh, kind of a cool, cool story. Get over to his home visit and see his house, and I walk in, and his dad's got you know saddles and NFR qualifications. So we started talking about rodeo and hit it off, and so uh, getting Vegas is great. He's, he's a he's a local guy that is is a big physical kid that we're excited to have on board and. And then Carl Henry from Legacy, uh, another running back that um, he had a great year for him, um, did a lot of really good things. He's, he's a shifty guy, a heavier guy. Um, you know, he's going to be that in between the tackles guy, and he does a really good job. So um, good group from, from here in the area. And then getting Bryce, you can't teach 6'7", um, as much as you can teach him footwork and hand placement and, and all that, you can't, you can't teach 6'7". And so excited to get Bryce. Uh, here as well too, so a good group from the state. But you know, getting Henry uh, Spensky, he's he's a very talented old lineman uh, from the Omaha area, and uh, he's really athletic. He's strong. He's a kid that's you know 265, 270 now. He's gonna be 300 pounds and athletic. Uh, Chris Frazier's kind of a road grader. You know, I, I love he shows up on his visit with a mullet and he's got big aviators on him. Like this is this is perfect. This is the guy we want. Um, and I met with Malin and. I was like, this this guy looks like a college football. He looks like an inside linebacker in our conference. I mean, he's a 6'2", 230, but he looks like he's 210. He's just, he's built like that. Um, his dad's a track coach at Wyoming. His mom's a professor there. And so he's he's an athletic kid and he's got athletic genes. His mom, you know, was a was the track athlete as well at Wyoming. So, um, you know, that was just one of those where an alum reached out. We had that connection, uh, drove down there, met with him, and got him and his mom up on a visit, and it was a good fit. Is what he's looking for, and, and he's, uh, he's a good player. I remember last summer, uh, it was before the 4th of July break, I called coach, and I was like, hey, you know, Travis, give me the rundown. What's he like? Uh, who is he? And, you know, it was, it was really quick. It was just, well, if you want him to roll, run through that wall, just tell him, and he'll do it. And I was like, perfect. And our, our big focus right now is, is commitment level at every phase. Um, you know, we, we break up our levels levels of competitors. Uh, you know, survivors the bottom, and competitors a guy that wants to compete when he wants to compete. Uh, and then we have a true competitor and a dominant competitor. And we want guys to be true and dominant competitors at all times. And you know, as you look back at last year and moving into this year, uh, we can't have those moments where we're a true or dominant competitor for 59 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, we have to be all in for 60 minutes of a game and and that goes into are we all in for that 45 minutes of the speed training this morning are we all in you know for the 50 minutes uh the lift they have the the guys have this afternoon and um that's that's meetings it's lifts it's practice uh summer training uh we got to be completely committed at all at all phases and so uh, our guys are doing a good job of that now um they they did a good job this morning workouts before we came over here for signing day and we got lift here this afternoon and um, that's that's what it's going to take, and so that's been the big thing that we've continued to share with the recruiting class too. Is you come in, there's going to be a level of expectation, there's a standard that we have to meet, and, and that's the only way for us to continue to grow this program.